In today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can beat a new modified boss called Ashfang and everything you need to know on how to actually beat it in the best strategies and metas, what they drop, all that good jazz. If you guys enjoyed today's video, comment your best joke. If we hit 250 likes, I'll roll it in the best joke. Who is subscribed and liked to me will win 5 million coins. You must be subscribed and liked. So Ashfang is one of the five mini boss type things in the nether update alongside the Mage Outlaw, Barbarian Duke, Blade Soul, and the Magma Boss. Now Ashfang out of these is by far the most difficult, and it just was most difficult. However, recently they did a patch change to Ashfang, and now it's a lot more confusing on what you actually need to do and how to do everything. So I'm going to be going over what you need to do to kill him. First off, where is Ashfang? Ashfang is near the skull. If we look on the map, we can see it's like the topish thing right past the volcano from spawn. If you go to the right, we will see a bunch of ghasts, and with them in this little cave den thing, we will see Ashfang. Now, Ashfang is a blaze that is 50 million health and is very, very weird. So that's how you get to them. First, what does Ashfang drop? Ashfang drops something called Lumino Fibers. Lumino Fibers are used to craft the Fire Veil Wand, and that's Basically, yeah, they're also used for quests, but they're not used for a whole lot of stuff, but they're still, yeah, one of the hardest bosses in the game. What do I recommend gear-wise for you to do this and party-wise? I recommend getting a group of four people, ideally, each with separate gear to do this boss, and I'll explain why. So, Ashfang, if we go over to here, I will try to hit him, and you'll see what happens. When I walk over, he will spawn in a bunch of places surrounding, as he does right now. You can see... There's a bunch of different blazes, each of them with different colored name tags. We have Ashfang Underling, we have Ashfang um, Follower, we have Ashfang Alcoy. First off, if I try to go up and manually hit Ashfang, it does not work. It says your attack was nullified. It does not work. By the way, they still do a lot of damage. So we know that we can't actually damage Ashfang, so you'd assume that we have to kill the mobs surrounding them in order to kill them, in order to damage, and that's partly true. However, there's an issue. If I tr try to shoot the Ashfang Underling, Ashfang Follow says it can only be damaged by gravity. Ashfang Alcor says it can only be damaged by melee attacks. And Ashfang Underling says it can only da be damaged by non-melee attacks. So the first two are pretty obvious. Melee, non-melee, bows, swords, right? That's a pretty obvious one. You can also use melee to weapons as well. You're probably thinking gravity and thinking, the fuck, how do I kill these? First off, how do you actually do damage? Because killing these guys does not directly deal damage to Ashfang. Instead, you have to do something else. So Ashfang, he summons in the mobs, and one of his other abilities is he'll summon in these, if I wait a little bit, there'll be like these, there'll be this like weird item thing that will pull you towards it. I'm gonna wait for it to summon in so I can show you what I'm talking about. So right here, it's spawning in, and there's like this weird thing, and if I get too close, it tries to pull me in, and if I actually touch it, it deals a shit ton of damage. Now what these actually do is these are blazing souls type things. This is how you actually deal damage to the boss, or at least one of the ways. The main way, however, is actually killing the mobs that they summon in, and then using that to kill them. So, first of all, obvious, how the hell do you kill the Ash Fang followers? Because these guys obviously kind of suck. They follow you for incredibly long distances. Well, it's actually pretty easy. It wouldn't seem like it, but it's pretty easy. We think about spawning. When it says gravity, what this means... You have to drag him in, you have to drag an Ashfang follower into into the gravity thing. And when it's dragged in and it, it explodes, they will die. These will create blazing souls. You need to left flick these blazing souls into the guy, and that's how you do damage. As we can see, 2 million damage, 2 million damage. So that's what these little gravitational pull things are for, is for drawing in the Ashfang followers. Now the rest are pretty obvious. The um, blue ones, you just... The blue ones you hit with melee weapons, and the red ones you hit with, um, like, archer weapons. So here's where the party comes in. You're gonna want one person with a sword to kill the blue ones, one person with a bow to kill the red ones, then you're gonna want one tank to kill the followers, like the gravity ones or whatever, and then you're gonna want a fourth person, and this guy's gonna be in charge of actually hitting all the blazing souls into the boss. Now you're like, the fourth one, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But what does the fourth one need? All the rest of them are pretty obvious. Goldor and then the DPS set, right? The Blazing Souls, guys, you're going to want to actually use Werewolf Armor. reason why I'm saying use Werewolf Armor is because of Ferocity. 
With Ferocity, you gain a percent chance to deal extra damage, or instead of hitting once, you hit twice. And this works on Ash Fangs. I'm going to prove in just a second I need to wait for one of them to spawn in so I can drag in and kill them. So I'll cut back as soon as we're done with that. Alright, so we got both these guys in. We are currently in Werewolf Armor. If we hit one, currently, yep, we did the five, we did the two million damage. If we hit another, we did two million damage again. The point is, the fourth guy, you want to just have the best aim just running around hitting all these blazing souls into the into ashfang now this make sure that they know what they're doing and they don't actually miss this seems actually pretty easy right you don't actually have to deal damage you don't have to have high dealing stuff you just have to kill ashfang the issue is ashfang regens so fucking much it is a pain ashfang will have different amounts of waves so to speak you'll know because they'll summon in all of their guys and then they will just all despawn and then respawn if you don't hit Ashfang a certain amount, certain amount of times with the Blazing Souls, he will just regen like 5 million health. Or something really stupid. So make sure you're actually hitting them all in. For example, if I is just like this, where we've just ended. If I see like a Blazing Soul and I actually miss and hit it that way, or even just miss him in general, it's gonna kind of screw my team. So make sure you have good aim when you're doing this, because if you miss, it really sucks to say the least. That's the basic of how you do Ashfang. You have the these gravity things are to kill the Ashfang followers. You just bring them in towards it, and they'll walk stupidly into it. This is probably the easiest job. So for so if you have a group of four people and like one person's not the most skillful, it's the best gear. That's the job they should be doing because it's easier to do than all the rest. If I just miss that one, oh no, then I'm kind of screwed. Now, for how much people you need to do this, no, you don't actually need four people to do this. You can do, you can solo this, you can do this with three people, you can do this with however much people you want to. It's just gonna take, it's just better to have more people. So, get a, get a good party, have everyone have a job, and then work on killing this guy. He is, honestly, probably more confusing than Kyojo, to be honest. Kyojo, it's pretty obvious how you damage everything, and how you do everything. But with this... I don't think it's, it, I didn't know what the hell gravity meant. I assumed it was like the gravity pull thingy my bobs, but I didn't actually know how it meant and how it regened and all this fancy stuff. So I hope this video helped you out when you eventually decide to do Ashfang, whether that's an alpha or in main. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.